Over the years, I have read and been told many things about Katornix quail, from they can't be put on the ground, to they can't be near hens because they catch diseases, and also, perhaps the main one is they can't be free-ranged. Well, all I've got to say to that is bunker. In the next film, I'm going to show you how I free-range quail. The fact is, you've got to be sure of your quail, number one, so they've got to be tame or they've got to be bonded to you. That's a very important thing. They've got to trust you. And secondly, you've got to provide them with a free ranging environment that gives them the ability to go and hide if necessary. Because quail live in quite densely planted up areas. I found that's where they feel good. That's why I did the safe quail area. And it's when they're right out in the open that they get scared. And that's when they might do something silly like fly away. I've had many comments about free-ranging quail and I have made two films already about free-ranging quail chicks with mother hens and also juveniles with mother hens but today I thought I'd take a pair of adults out free-ranging now we do free-range here in the garden in just a little annex to the quail run here but this is going to be out in a, a meadow where we're making a garden for a friend so we're raring to go particularly you We'll get boxed up and we'll be ready to, for the off. These two are a bonded pair. This one, Blanche, is very tame. And that is why I'm taking two instead of usually I would only take one quail. But um, because he will stick with her, I thought it would be a good idea to take them both. I've just let them out of their box that they travelled in. And the first thing that happened was a jackdaw started to shout and flew overhead and the male, because this is a bonded pair, that's why. This one's very tame, the female, but the male is a little more wary. So when the jackdaw flew over, he gave a warning cry and he went hid under the hydrangea bush and he called her to come. But because she trusts me to look after her, She's actually stayed here, but he's still giving a few warning sounds now and again. I think she feels safe under there. That's fine. It's no problem. I mean, I was, I was going to bring her on her own because I know how tame she is. And we work in the garden at home as well. And I thought, well, this would be a nice change. But uh, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter if he stays under the bush all the time and does his feathers. I mean, what does it matter? He doesn't wander off, but I don't see him wandering off because he's too attached to her. So she did have a, a bit of a think at the beginning when he was calling and she could hear the jackdaw. We've got jackdaws at home on the roof quite near to the quail greenhouse, but it's a different thing being in a secure area and hearing a, a, um, a jackdaw than actually being outside and hearing a jackdaw. And she did have a bit of a think, I could see. Oh, maybe I'll go into the hide range and forget about this. But if your quail is tame already and bonded to you, then she should feel safe when she's out in an open space like this. So just make sure that you've got, if you're taking out a bonded pair, you've got at least one of them that is bonded to you as well. And you'll be fine. And normally I will only take one quail out at a time. It's just there could always be something, you don't know what's going to happen. And it's easy to pick one quail up, but it's just that as they were bonded, as I said, I just thought it'd be nice to bring them both together. And in fact, when I went to the quail run before I bought them, both of them were standing by the door as if to say, right, are we off? So that's why. And it's good for her to be in a new place, have a good look around, see new things. And also she's doing a great job here getting all the noisables, holy annoying little creatures that will eat the roots of the courgette plants we're about to put in. So. And she's, this quail is really mad on slugs. So that's another good reason to have her here because they're the arch enemy of the courgette or the summer squash. So we'll carry on. And we'll see if the male eventually... Has he gone now? Is he still there? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's still in the same place. She's not moved very far. He stopped calling her, so I obviously think she's okay. She right. was calling him then. Yeah. Well, he's worried about where she is. She's, like, she's very brave. Yeah, well, she's heard him and she's going back under yeah. the hide range. Oh, no, she's found some turf. Let's see what we can find in here, Quinn. Where have we gone? Where have we gone, Quellis? Come on! Hmm. I don't think they've got a whole nest yet of them with eggs. She's off again now. <laughs> oh, she's gone into the shade. Well, she's moving from bush to bush, which is a good idea, and then they're safe.